Shana Tova. Welcome to our time machine of holy days. We are going to be taking you on a journey where your spirit will get to fly to places unknown, that your world will be inspired, that you will hopefully forget the troubles that are outside in the world for a moment and only work on the things that you need to that are inside you. We take a moment, we look at some of the services and the people we were from a few years ago as they are blended into the service that we do for you for today. We use prayer books that you haven't seen or thought of for a while. We will be finding excerpts in your service from the Union Prayer Book, from Sha'are Truva, The Gates of Repentance, and from the new prayer book, Mishkan HaNefesh. You will not be able to follow along in any one prayer book and any one machzor because we are using inspirations from these prayer books and other places, but all of the words that you need will be on the screen. It is a way for us to make you connected in time and space to everyone who is worshiping with us. And you will see some segments that are people worshiping from before us. So I hope it doesn't shock you. I hope it warms your heart to relive some experiences that we've had in the past. I, for one, enjoy hearing some voices that we hadn't heard in a while and seeing some people that we haven't seen in a while and knowing that we are all connected. As we live in this day of awe, I hope you enjoy your experience and find inspiration by which to live. Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tova. It has become our tradition to begin our holy days and potentially every day by saying that we're ready to make the day a holy day. Hineni muhanum hezuman, hineni muhanum hezuman, hineni muhanum hezuman, hineni muhanum hezuman. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 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 Lekaye mitzvah tabori Hineni muchanu mezuman Lekaye mitzvah tabori Hineni muchanu mezuman To fulfill my creator's commandment I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready To fulfill my creator's commandment I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready Ukedash tem et ayom haze hineni muhanu mezuman. Ukedash tem et ayom haze hineni muhanu mezuman. To make this day a holy day, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You must make this day a holy day. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. There is a tradition that we should try to find 100 reasons to say blessings, 100 things that we are delighted about or amazed by or grateful for. In a traditional home, we might start our day with blessings for everyday miracles. And I love thinking of these things as miracles. Our tradition, when we do this every Saturday morning, is we have been chanting two lines in Hebrew and the rest in English. Um, and I think that you're going to find that during the pandemic, these miracles have a different meaning to us than they did before. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night. I have not been so good at that during the pandemic. I find myself awake in the middle of the night and very tired in the middle of the day. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who opens the eyes of the blind. I like thinking of the blind as not just literally blind, but also people who weren't seeing clearly and now are seeing things they hadn't seen before. I especially love when that happens to me, when I see things that I didn't see before. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who frees the captive. Well, I think almost everybody right now is feeling kind of captive and um, I think it's a blessing that we get to go out. 
Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam who lifts up the fallen. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam who stretches the earth over the waters. That's been kind of complicated lately. Lately we've seen some waters taking over the earth, some earth taking over the waters. And we're looking forward to telling God, please do this right. We really appreciate having firm ground to stand upon. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam who strengthens our steps. I appreciate that a lot. My leg still hurts. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam who clothes the naked. <laughs> I think almost everybody I've spoken with during the pandemic has a different kind of relationship to clothing than we did before. A different relationship with hair than we did before. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam who gives strength to the weary. Goes back to knowing the difference between day and night for me. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam who removes sleep from the eyes and slumber from the eyelids. And I think my favorite one Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who made me in the image of God. I like waking up, looking in the mirror and saying, God, you're looking good today. No, but seriously, it's not just about what we look like. It's, I think, about looking at another person and knowing that they have the same kind of divine spark in them that makes them who they are, that you have in you. And so I think that I treat people differently and I treat myself differently, knowing that each of us was created in the image of God. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who has made me free. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who has made me a part of Israel. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who girds Israel with strength. Baruch atah Hadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, who crowns Israel with splendor. This Rosh Hashanah, each of us enters this sanctuary with a different need. I'm going to point out that sanctuary means safe space. I am hoping that while you are at home, your safe space is also a sacred space. You don't have to be in the building in order to have a sacred place. Some hearts are full of gratitude and joy. They are overflowing with the happiness of love and the joy of life. They are eager to confront the day, to make the world more fair. They're recovering from illness or have escaped misfortune, and we rejoice with them. Some hearts ache with sorrow. Disappointments weigh heavily upon them, and they've tasted despair. Families have been broken. Loved ones lie on a bed of pain. Death has taken those whom they cherished. May our presence and sympathy bring them comfort. Some hearts are embittered. They have sought answers in vain, have had their ideals mocked and betrayed. Life has lost its meaning and value. May the knowledge that we too are searching restore their hope that there is something still to find. Some spirits hunger. They long for friendship. They crave understanding. They yearn for warmth. May we, in our common need, gain strength from one another sharing our joys, lightening each other's burdens, and praying for the welfare of our community. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness and of the impulse within us for justice and mercy, we pray that this hour of worship may be one of vision and inspiration. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter their safe space in search and in need, all who bring to their place the offering of their hearts. May our worship here lead us to fulfill our words and our hopes with acts of kindness, peace, and love. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Be'alma divra chihirute, v'yam lich malchute. V'chai echon, v'yom mechon, v'chai d'chol b'et Yisrael, ba'agala u'zman kariv, v'yimru. Amen. Yehesh me'raba, me'varach le'alam al me'almaya. 
יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלה שמי דקודשה בריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן בעלמה ויאמרו אמן be thou, O eternal our God, ruler of the world, who in thy mercy makest light to shine over the earth and all its inhabitants, and renewest daily the work of creation. How manifold are thy works, O God! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The heavens declare thy glory, the earth reveals thy creative power. Thou formest light and darkness, ordainest good out of evil, bringest harmony into nature and peace to the human heart. Thou didst lay the foundations of the earth and the heavens are thy handiwork. They may perish, but thou shalt endure. Thy years shall have no end, O ever-living God, creator of heaven and earth, rule thou over us forever. Praise be thou, O God, creator of light. Great has been thy love for us and thy compassion boundless. Our fathers and mothers put their trust in thee, and thou didst teach them the law of life. Be gracious also unto us, that we may understand and fulfill the teachings of thy word. Enlighten our eyes in thy law, that we may cling unto thy commandments. Unite our hearts to love and revere thee. We trust in thee and rejoice in thy saving power, for from thee cometh our help. Thou hast called us and drawn us nigh unto thee to serve thee in faithfulness. Happy the one who knoweth thee and delighteth greatly in thy commandments. Happy the one whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are thy ways. Joyfully do we lift up our voices and proclaim thy unity. Praise be thou, O God, who in thy love hast called thy people Israel to serve thee. Shema, Shema, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי 
ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם, אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אדוני אלוהיכם אמת. You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words, which I command you this day, upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. The beginning of your word is truth. If you exist at all, I know you can't abide hypocrisy. And most of all, you don't want prayers that lie. You'd rather get an honest fight than strings of empty platitudes. So I can't pretend or hide in pious phrases given to me by the past. It's hard to speak of my own imperfect truth. In fact, the more I say, the less I seem to know. And the farther away I get from you, whatever you might be. I've heard that what you really want is not more words, you want the heart. That might be more than I can give, but I can try. <laughs> Where does Israel get the courage, the chutzpah, to go on believing in redemption in a world that knows mass hunger, political exile, and war? How can Jews testify to hope and human value when they've been continuously persecuted, hated, expelled, and destroyed? Out of the memories of Exodus. We begin the section called Hatfilah. Make every effort to pray from the heart. Even if you do not succeed, the effort is precious in the eyes of the Eternal One. Adonai sifata tiftach ufi agit hilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Lea, Elohe Rachel, Hael Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot, Vimahot, Ume Vigula Livne Vneham, Lima Anchimo Beahava.
עוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. Your life-giving power is forever, Adonai, with us in life and in death. You liberate and save, cause dew to descend, and with mercy abundant, lovingly nurture all life. From life to death, you are the force that flows without end. You support the falling, heal the sick, free the imprisoned and confined. You are faithful even to those who rest in the dust. Power beyond power, from whom salvation springs, sovereign over life and death, who is like you? Merciful God, who compares with you? With tender compassion, you remember all creatures for life. Faithful and true, worthy of our trust, you sustain our mortal yearnings. In you, we place our undying hopes. Baruch atadonai, mechaye hakol, wellspring of blessing, power eternal, you are the one who gives and renews all life. We are taught that our deeds get written in a book of life and that on Rosh Hashanah, the book is open and God uses our choices, our deeds to judge us. Do we really believe that this day is a day of judgment based on what we did last year and that what gets sealed today will determine our fate for the coming year? I think that we believe that our choices are free and that we continue to make choices throughout the year. But certainly we are taught that we can choose freely, but what we have chosen to become stands in judgment over what we may yet hope to be. Our choices still help to determine who we are and what we get to be. This prayer helps to remind us of the importance of all of the choices that we make. ושופר גדול יתקע, וכל דממה דקה יישמע. And so a great shofar will cry, תקיע, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, Behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world will pass before you. like sheep before their shepherd. As a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff, you count and consider every life. You set bounds, you decide destiny, you inscribe judgments.
Tefila utsedaka ma avirinet roahagzera. But through return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. You are everything that we praise you for, slow to anger, quick to forgive. You do not wish the death of sinners, but urge them to return from their ways and live. Until the day of death, you wait for them. You accept them at once if they return. Since you created us, you know our impulses. We are but flesh and blood. How do we sense God's holiness? Through awe. And so, in your holiness, give all creation the gift of awe. Turn our fear to reverence. Let us be witnesses of wonder. Perceiving all nature as a prayer, come alive. We bow to the sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your power. We yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with wholeness of heart. Awe-inspiring is your creation, all-encompassing your transcendent name. How do we sense God's holiness? through honor. And so, in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Bless with praise those who praise you. Bless with hope those who seek you. Give your believers a basis for faith, true happiness for the land of Israel, true joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in the darkness a promise of perfection. How do we sense God's holiness? Through righteousness. And so, in your holiness, give the righteous the gift of a vision bright with joy, a world where evil has no voice and the rule of malevolence fades like wisps of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. In your love, eternal our God, you have given us this Shabbat and this day of remembrance, a day for the shofar's joyful sound, remembered and cherished in our hearts, a day of sacred assembly, a day to be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt. Zochrenu Adonai Eloheinu Bo Litova, eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Ufogdenu Vo Livracha, and be mindful of us. Amen. Vehoshienu v'lechaim, redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Blessed are hearts that respond to the majestic music of the shofar. Blessed is the gift of life, the power of renewal that brings us to this day. Dwell on each sound of the shofar. Contemplate its meaning. Tekia, one whole note. Shivarim trua, three broken notes nine staccato notes. Tekia, one whole note. My return to the right path has the power to make me whole again. Tekia, once I was whole. Shivarim chirua, 
In the wear and tear of living, I became broken and shattered. Tekia, my tshuva, my repentance, my returning back, has the power to make me whole again. Baruch atadonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu lishmoa kol shofar, source of blessing, eternal our God, you fill the universe with majestic might, summoning us to hear the sound of the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehecheyanu, Vikiyamanu, Vehigiyanu, Lazman Hazeh, Source of Blessing, Eternal Our God, You fill the universe with majestic might, giving us life, upholding the life within us, and bringing us to this time. Tzikiyah! Shvarim Teruah! Tekia Tekia Shavarim Tekia Tekia Trua Tekia Today, the world is born anew. This day, the whole of creation stands before you to be judged. As we are your children, love us in the way of mothers and fathers. As we are yours in service, Guide us by the light of your justice, grace, and holiness. Let the wishes of our lips, our heart's desire, be pleasing before you, God Most High. You are knowing and attentive, watchful and aware when we call out, Tekia, lovingly, favorably, receive our prayers. Don't stop. After beating the swords into plowshares, don't stop. Go on beating and making musical instruments out of them. Whoever wants to make war again will have to turn them into plowshares first. Baruch atadonai, oseha shalom. You are the blessed one, eternal source of shalom, of peace. You probably have come here with something in your heart that you wanted to talk to God about. And until this time in our service, we've had inspiring words, but they're other people's words. At this point in the service, you are welcome to have that private conversation you intended with God, or you can read the inspiring words that are on the screen. May the words of my mouth Imre fi vehegyon libi And the meditations of my heart Lefanecha be acceptable to you. Lefanecha be acceptable to you. Adonai Tzuri God my rock Tzuri Vigohali My rock and my redeemer Adonai Tzuri God, my rock, 
וגואני. At this point in our service, our hearts and our prayers turn to all who are ill, recuperating, dealing with the consequences of confinement, coping with the recent deaths of loved ones. This week we're praying especially also for those who are recuperating from the storms and those who are trying to escape and stay safe or recuperate from the fires in the West. And we say prayers for those who are recuperating or suffering from COVID-19. May the Eternal One, who blesses all life, bless and strengthen all of us who struggle against illness. May we whose lives are touched by illness be blessed with faith, courage, love, and caring. May we experience the support and sustenance of family, friends, companions, and community. May we be granted restful nights and days of comfort. We pray for rifua shalema, precious moments of healing, and a sense of wholeness in body and soul. May those who care for the sick with their hands, their voices, and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina. May those who pursue healing through medical skill and knowledge be blessed with insight, patience, and compassion. May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. And let us say, Amen. And it has become our tradition at B'nai Zion to honor and Bless those who we consider our heroes. Mishaberach avotenu ve'imotenu, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom, protecting us, healing us, or serving us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they've been called to serve. Give them courage to succeed and strength to persevere. May they return home safely. And let us say, Amen. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, Shema Kolenu, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, Chamol Alenu, Vaal Ol Alenu, Vitapenu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Dever, Vacherev, Vraav Mealenu, Avinu Malkenu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Kotsa U Mastin Mealenu, Avinu Malkenu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, Kodvenu Besefa Chaim Tovim, Avinu Malkenu, Enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu, Chadesh Alenu, Shana Tova. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, Chanenu Vaanenu, Kein Banu Maasim. Ase Imanu Tzedaka, Vachesed Vehoshienu. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love.
תקיע. שברים תרועה. תקיע. תקיע. שברים. תקיע. תקיע. תרועה. תקיע. The prophet said, cry aloud, lift up your voice like a shofar. This is the meaning of the verse. See yourself as a shofar, an instrument of the divine. Do not take pride in your virtue or the power of your deeds. With every mitzvah you do, every act of intellect, goodness, and love, God's spirit breathes through you. Baruch atah Adonai, zocher habrit. You remember the covenant, you remember us. Baruch Hu Ed Adonai Hamvorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Vayed Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Vayed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen ויהי אחר הדברים האלה, והא אלוהים נשא את אברהם. There came a time when God put Abraham to the test. ויאמר אליו אברהם, Abraham, he said to him, ויאמר הנני, and he answered, here I am. ויאמר כך נא את בנך את יחידך, אשר אהבת את יצחק. Then God said, Take your son, your precious one, Isaac, whom you love, Velech lecha, and go, El Eretz HaMaria, to the land of Maria. Vaha Alehu Sham Laola, there you shall offer him up as a burnt offering, Al Achad HaHarim, on one of the mountains, Asher Omar Elecha, that, that I will point out to you. Vayashkem Avraham Baboker, Vayachavosh et Chamoro, Vayikach et Shanei Naharav Ito, Vayet Yitzchak Beno, Vayivakach Atze Ola. Early next morning, Abraham, having first split wood for the burnt offering, saddled his donkey, took two of his servants and his son Isaac. Vayasem Vayakam Vayelech El Hamakom and set out for the place Asher Amarlo Ha Elohim of which God had told him. Vayom Hashlishi Vayisa Avraham Et Enon Vayar Et Hamakom Merachok. On the third day, as he looked up, Abraham saw the place from afar. Vayomer Avraham el Na'arav, and Abraham said to his lads, Shavu lachim po im hachamor, stay here with the donkey, va'ani v'han na'ar ne'acha ad po v'nishachaveh, while I and the boy go up to worship, v'nashuva aleichem, then we will return to you. Vayikach Avraham et adzei ha'olav, Abraham took the wood for the sacrifice by Yasem al, al Yitzchak Beno and laid it on his son Isaac. By Yitzchak Beado et Haesh et Hamaachelet, he himself carried the firestone and the knife. By Yitzchuk Shenehem Yachdav, and the two walked on together. 
Vayomer Yitzchak El Avraham Aviv. Then Isaac broke the silence and said to his father Abraham, Vayomer Avi, father, he said, Vayomer Hineni Hineni Bani. And he answered, Here I am, my son. Vayomer Hine Haesh Vahaitsi. And he said, I see the fire stone and the wood. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? By Yomer Avraham, Abraham replied, Elohim Yurelo Hazeh Allah Bini. God will see to the lamb for the sacrifice, my son. By Yehu Shinehem Yachdav. By Yavo'u El Hamakam, they came to the place, Asher Amar Loha Elohim. Of which God had told him, Vayivin Sham Avraham et Hamizbeach, and Abraham built an altar there. Vayaaruch et Haitzim, he laid on the wood. Vayaakod et Yitzchak Beno, he tied up his son Isaac. Vayasim Oto al Hamizbeach, he laid him on the altar. Mamaal Hula Haitzim. On top of the wood. Vayishkain, Vayishlach, Avraham, et Yado, Vayikach, et Hamaachelet, Yishkot, et Beno. He reached for the knife to slay his son. Vayikrach, Elav, Malach, Adonoi, Min Hashemayim. Let an angel of the eternal called to him from heaven by Yomer Avraham Avraham and said Abraham Abraham la Yomer Hineni here I am he answered by Yomer al Tishlach Yarcha el Hanaar and the angel said do not raise a hand against the boy but al Ta'as lo Mi'uma nor do the least thing to him ki ata yadati Ki yure Elohim ata, for now I know you stand in awe of God. Velo chasachta et bincha et chidacha memeni. Since you did not withhold from me your own son, your precious one. Vayasa Avraham et enav vayar vehine ayo. As he looked up, Abraham's eye fell on a ram. Achad. Ne'achaz bazvach bekarnav, caught in the thicket by its horns. Vayelech Avraham vayikach et ha'ayel. And Abraham went and took the ram, vayya'alehu le'olah, and offered it as a sacrifice, as a burnt offering, tachat beno, in the place of his son. Vayikroch Avraham shem hamakom hahu. And Abraham named that place Adonai Yireh, the eternal one sees, Asher ye Omer Hayom, as it is said to these days, Bahar Adonoi ye Ra'eh, on the mountain of the eternal there is vision. Vayikrok Malach Adonoi El Avraham Shenit Min Hashemayim. And the angel called, to, called out from heaven a second time, Vayomer bi Nishbati. Neum Adonoi, and said, By myself do I swear, says the Eternal, Ki ya'an asher asita et hadavar hazeh, that because you have done this, below chazachta et bincha et yichircha, and did not withhold from me your own son, your precious one. Ki varech avarechacha, I will bless you greatly. Vaharba arbe et zaracha kachofe hashamayim, and make your descendants as numerous as the stars of heaven. Vachachol asher al safat hayam, and the sands of the seashore. Vayirash zaracha et shaar oivav, and your descendants shall come to possess the gates of your enemies. Vahidbarachu vizaracha kol goye haoret. All the nations of the earth shall be blessed through your descendants. 
Ekev Asher Shamata Bekoli, because you obeyed my command. By Yashav Avraham El Na'arav. So Abraham then returned to his servants. By Yatumu Bekielchu Yachdav El Be'er Shava. And they left together for Be'er Shava. By Yeshav Avraham Be'er Shava. And Abraham stayed in Be'er Shava. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Vachaye Olam Natabetochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Baruch Ata Adonai Shomea Kol Truat Amo Yisrael Berachamim Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, the true voice of your people. Tekia Shavarim Terua Tekia Tekia Shavarim Takia Takia Tirua Takia Gedola This new year is 5,781. I am so glad to see the old year gone. In Hebrew, the year is written Tav, Shin, Pe, Aleph. The Tav and the Shin are there for a long time. They stand for 700. The 5,000 part of it is understood. The significant thing that changes is the 81 at the end, the pe and the aleph. In Hebrew, pe means mouth. Aleph is silent, but the shape of the letter is open in every direction, and it points in every direction. I'm thinking a lot about how significant it is that this year is about an open mouth that is silent. I don't want to think that it represents us being dumbfounded. Our mouth drops open, but there are no words to say. Maybe we're clueless. Maybe we're shocked about something. I don't want to believe that we're clueless. I have confidence in our abilities for tikkun olam, to make things better. I truly believe that this is part of our purpose in life. I don't want this to mean something like a silent scream. That makes me think of situations when someone is so scared that they open their mouth to scream, but nothing comes out. I pray that this is not what this year will bring. We had too much of that last year. In Hebrew, the word for fear is the same as the word for awe. I want to believe that the open mouth that is silent is a perfect way to describe these days of awe. You see a magnificent sky, You see a newborn baby. You see someone you love. I would like to believe that the open mouth, the open silent mouth, is someone breathing. Soul refreshing breaths. The opposite of what happens with COVID-19. I believe that it is soul refreshing breaths. I would like to believe that it's the sound that you make when you hear the shofar blast. (gasps) Let's think about the shofar, the shofar blasts. Tekiah, that's a summons 
like for a coronation or an announcement. It feels like things are good. When I work with the kids, you can either bring a big shofar or a little ram's horn shofar. It makes a bigger, squeakier noise. But the takia is announcing something. Feels like things are good. Shavarim it means broken. It means fractured. In some traditions, especially if you use your ram's horn, it sounds a little bit like crying. Teruah is an alarm, like waking you up kind of alarm. We've experienced a lot of these things this year. Um, first, we were feeling pretty good about things, like a tequila, like just an announcement. Yeah, I'm okay. Then the pandemic hit. We felt broken. We were crying, shattered. Time passed. We got stuck at home. We were broken. It was demoralizing. It was sad. It was scary. Many cried. Many got depressed. Many other things happened. Racial problems surfaced. Anti-Semitism increased. Then time passed more. We learned more about the illness. We learned that we could wear a mask and it could protect you and the people you encounter. It was as if the country, the world, was able to wake up out of their depression and solitude. Early on, it was difficult to see when it will end. I believe that we are getting closer to that Tekiagedola, huge announcement, the all-clear alarm. I don't know how close we are, but if we keep working together at preventing its spread, just even hearing the tequila at the end of this um, would feel really good. So I want you to think about those blasts. I want you to think about um, you personally and the blasts and what those blasts mean to you. What about you is whole at this time? Are there things that you're proud of about yourself? Are there things that make you happy? Things that make you feel whole? What is the thing that makes you want to tequila out loud? Did you give yourself opportunities to find those things? Do you give yourself opportunities to appreciate those things? You don't necessarily have to tell others, but these are the things you could say out loud about yourself. Tequila. What about you is broken? While you had this time to yourself in the pandemic, did you give yourself the opportunity to truly face what is broken about you? Is there something that hurts you? It might be small, like a fracture, and it doesn't have to be obviously a physical bone fracture. It might be something that feels like <sighs> that grunting, it hurts so much, or crying. Uh, because it hurts so much. What kind of a shavarim, a broken call, are you? What about you is shattered? What is so obviously broken that you cannot go on like that anymore? Is there something that makes you realize that you cannot continue without changing, without having something change about your life? What is your wake-up call? <laughs> Once you've worked out these things in your life, the things that make you whole and who you are, facing the facts about the things that are fractured in your life, recognizing that things must change for you to continue, after you come to terms with all these things, after you deal with all of them, you get to come back to wholeness. What if it's not about brokenness for ourselves, but how it reveals that other things are broken. What if that's the sound that the shofar makes, and what if that's what it makes us think about? We have seen some of this in our society. We think our day-to-day -day life is good. We think that things are fine. Um, at worst, maybe our day-to-day -day life is exhausting or mediocre, but it's not terrible. Then you hear about something in the news something that happened in the community, a tragedy or an injustice, it starts like a fracture. We hear about one black man who was killed by a police officer. Then we realize that the fracture 
seemed like a small, isolated incident, but it was really an initial glimpse for us into something that is very broken. We have to face it. We need the wake-up call. We need to fix it. What about our world? We are fine when the weather doesn't bother us, when it allows us to do what we want, what we need to do, to go to work, to go to school, play our sports, enjoy vacations. Then we have times when the weather seems broken. Floods, wind, fire. The world seems broken, and the weather has blasted our normal lives. Usually we can recuperate, and we can tequila again. But after a while, it seems like a wake-up call, and we need to do something to fix it somehow. In our personal lives, our family lives, our work lives, our school lives, our community lives, our world lives, we need to hear the calls. In the liturgy that we've read this Rosh Hashanah, we've already said, the great shofar is sounded, and a silent, still voice is heard. The great shofar is sounded and a silent, still voice is heard? That always surprises me. If the shofar is sounded, it's a loud, blasting alarm. It's not a silent, still voice being heard. Rosh Hashanah in the Torah is not called the New Year. It's called the Day of Judgment and the Day of Blasts. This is a day when we expect to hear loud blasts when the shofar is sounded. As a child and even as an adult, it's the most thrilling part of the holiday. It takes my breath away to hear the blasts. I realize that when I hear the shofar, I feel like every time I hear that blast, I feel like God has heard our prayers. Is it because it's such a loud sound that God hears our prayers? The more I think about it, the more I realize that it's the opposite of the loud sound that makes me think of the listening part. We hear the shofar call because it's loud, because it blasts us awake. But while the loud noise is blasting, we can't listen to what God is telling us. It's like when the referee or the lifeguard blows the whistle, gets our attention, and then we listen to what the instructions are. The whistle has to stop blowing first. The shofar has to stop blasting first. We have to quiet down first. Loud noises may get our attention, but it is the still small voice that provides the insight and the answers. We get more insight by being quiet and listening. That's one thing that the pandemic has done. When we stay at home, it gives us the opportunity to listen more. At first, the silence is uncomfortable, but hopefully, when the noises of the world are not a distraction, we get to finally hear the still, small voice. That's what Shabbat is supposed to help us do. That is what Rosh Hashanah is supposed to do. Except Rosh Hashanah also has the cool blasts of the shofar. We get to hear the wake-up call, and then we get to listen to the silence, the still, small voice. When I was a teenager... I was hired to teach a five-year-old how to play guitar. We had to find a tiny guitar for him that was the right size for a small child. And then I was supposed to try to teach him how to read music. If you know anything about reading music, you know that there is what some people might see as math involved. There are quarter notes and half notes and whole notes. How was I supposed to teach a five-year-old these things when he didn't know anything about fractions? You probably know that my dad was a musician. He had this incredible innate ability to teach people about music. I asked him what to do. I thought that even though he was good at teaching music, I wasn't convinced he was going to be good at this task. It really seemed like a math thing or a child thing, and those were not specifically his expertise. But he told me that in order to teach this child about quarter notes, I had to first teach him about the rests. A rest in music is the part of the song when you don't play. It's the part that's between the notes. It turned out that in order to hear and understand the notes, it helped to understand the silence. In order to understand the letters and words on the page, 
you may not think about this very often, but you need to have space on the page so that you can see what is written. Black ink, let's say, on white paper. The white paper is wherever the words are not. I suspect that there is usually more white space than word space on the paper. I encourage you to listen to the sounds of the shofar this new year with new ears. Hear the wake-up call. Find out what it's telling you about yourself, about how you understand others around you. Find out what it tells you to do to help repair the fractures that you find. Hear the sounds of the shofar and listen to the still small voice that gives you insight and inspiration. Shana Tova. I hope that the words that you are hearing during this service have inspired you in new ways. We enjoyed making these services for you. I hope that you hear everything from the prayers to the music to the Torah in new ways. Shana Tova. Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. Thank you for letting us join you for Rosh Hashanah services. It will be great to see you at the Zoom following the Rosh Hashanah service. Next week we have special Shabbat services and Torah study, but at the regular times. Yom Kippur begins Sunday evening, September 27th and continues with services and study sessions all day, Monday, September 28th. Everything will be online, so please check the website and next week's email for links. There are many helpful and inspiring things on the B'nai Zion High Holy Day website. Did you do the shofar blaster yet? Rabbi Jana blasts shofar wherever you are and whenever you want. Most years at this time, youth group is doing a food drive. This year, the Food Bank of North Louisiana would much rather have donations by check or credit card. They tell us that they have connections that help the money help 10 times more than food in containers. This year, it is problematic for them to sort the food because of the pandemic restrictions. If you choose to make a donation, you're welcome to do it directly with them or through our website. Thanks to Max and Ron for all your technical expertise and creativity during this period. Thank you also, Adam Philly, and all of your virtual choir. Happy birthday from all of us in your B'nai Zion family. Thank you to the Sisterhood, Rabbi Jana, and the Religious School for the wonderful High Holy Day boxes. What a great way to feel connected and a sweet way to start the new year. Thank you, Rabbi Jana, for all your effort to keep us inspired, connected, and healthy during this unprecedented time. If you want to make donations for next week's Shabbat service or for Yom Kippur services, please get them to the office by Wednesday to be included in the service. We are trying to be on regular office hours from 9 to 2, but it is still best if you call ahead. We will be closed Monday, September 28th for Yom Kippur. Donations were made to B'nai Zion for pulpit flowers in memory of Esther Brodnix by Kathy Brodnix, in memory of Ruth and Bernard Kallenberg, and Betty and Leonard, Leonard Phillips by Sandy and Jeffrey Kallenberg, in loving memory of Edith K. Levy by Henry Brenner, in, in memory of Stephen Muslow by Mary and Family, in memory of Abe and Ray Gilbert, and Pauline and Lazar Muroff, and Neil Nearman by Ruthie Nearman and Family, in memory of Carol Herzberg Perlman by Francine and Jerry Perlman, in memory of Donald Yale Rosen by Gloria Rosen. 
Again, Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. Have a good year. Eternal God, we face the morrow with hope made stronger by the vision of your deliverance, a world where poverty and war are banished, where injustice and hate are gone. Teach us more and more to respond to the pain of others, to heed your call for justice, that we may bring near the day when all the world shall be one. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. We honor the memories of those who died this year in the military, police, firefighters, health care, and we add supermarkets and restaurants. We honor the memories of those who died in floods and fires and those who died of COVID-19. We honor the memories of those who died this year, who were the first responders, who died of COVID-related deaths or recent disasters. May their memories be for blessing. May their families be consoled. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. Death will come. Its hand will not be stayed, even an instant, nor can we enter into judgment with it. Our question, why, will go unanswered. But this does not mean that we are helpless in the face of death. We can and we do rob death of ultimate victory by living life as long as it is ours to live. To ask of death that it never come is futile. But it is not futility to pray that when death comes for us, it may take us from a world, one corner of which is a little better, because we were there. When we are dead and people weep for us and grieve, let it be because we touched their lives with beauty and simplicity. Let it not be said that life was good to us, but rather that we were good to life. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us. We honor the memory of congregants' parents who died within the past year. We remember Dean Thomas Pratt, Lewis Carroll Jr., and Tommy Crowder. And as we remember those who died at this season in years past, we take them into our hearts with our own. We remember those whose yurt sites we observed uh, during the past week. We remember Janet Lorraine Abrams, Abraham Atkins, Richard L. Bailey, Lily Bernhard, Mary Harris Block, Abri S. Can Sr., Henrietta Clark, Harry Dibner, Elizabeth L. Fox, Abe B. Fryer, Joe Gold, Harriet Gruber Goldberg, David Stein Goldberg, Adele B. Goldstein, Gerald S. Goodman, Israel Gringus, Brana Harris, Carol Hertzberg Perlman, Frida K. Hyman, Bernard Kallenberg, Bobby Kemper, Sam S. Kleban, William B. Levinson, Roger Levy, Hyman Lipson, Alice Meyer, Robert Rosenfield, Barbara Sugar, and Goldie Siegel Toys. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we praise your name. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei raba, be'alma divra chiruteh v'yamlich malchuteh, b'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael, ba'agala v'zman kariv v'imru, Amen. Yehe shemei raba mevarach l'alam u'almei almaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit naseh v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shemei d'kudsha barichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata tush b'chata v'nechemata da'amiran b'alma v'imru. Amen. 
יהא שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn and may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. יהי רצון מלפניך, אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו, שתחדש עלינו שנה טובה ומתוקה. Our God and God of our ancestors, eternal God of all generations, may your presence in our lives this new year renew our spirits and renew our strength. May it be a good year. May it be a sweet year. May it be a healthy year. לשנה טובה תיכתבו ותיכתמו. May you be inscribed and sealed for a good year. <laughs>